ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਜੀ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਹੈਲੋ एवरीवन ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਨਬਾਕਸਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਸੈਟ ਅਪ ਥਿਸ ਕੈਨਵਸ EBB ਕੈਨ ਵਰਜਨ 1.2 ਸੋ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ 올 ਦੀ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਕਮਸ ਇਨ ਦੀ ਬਾਕਸ ਦ ਮਦਰਬੋਰਡ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਪਿੰਸ ਐਂਡ ਕਨੈਕਟਰਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਮਦਰਬੋਰਡ ਕੈਨਵਸ ਇਟਸ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਨਾਰਮਲ ਵਨ ਨੋ ਮੈਕਸ ਵਨ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦੀ ਕਨੈਕਟਰ ਕਮਸ ਵਿਦ ਇਟ ਸੋ ਦ ਲਿਟਲ ਹੀਟ ਸਿੰਕ ਇਜ਼ ਫੋਰ ਯੂਅਰ EMC 2209 ਡਰਾਈਵਰ ਇਟਸ ਗੋਸ देयर ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू कनेक्ट दिस मैट दिस विद माय ऑक्टोपस प्रो मदरबोर्ड यू फाउंड अ मैनुअल ऑन अ बीटीटी गिटहब पेज सो देयर इज अ टू वर्जन ओके 1.1 1.2 मे बी यू कैन स्पीक विद व्हाट यू वांट ओके सो एवरीथिंग इज पिन आउट एवरीथिंग इज देयर so all data is there with every kind of a canvas system okay you can follow this or uh, the manual is there so they give you a clipper insulation stuff there okay how you can flash it so it is a u2c device if you if your motherboard uh, don't have a can port on the motherboard so you can use this one so you have a that can head for a pi and uh, data is there you can follow there so i can make a video on it so we can do it easily if you follow this method so it uh, flashing a clipper firmware on the uh, motherboard so i'm do something different if you are flashing a clip clipper motherboard every time you need to like a flash it to the uh, newest firmware so you you need a usb connection and press these buttons to put into the uh, dfu mode so you can flash it clipper firmware again so i'm follow the uh, that can boot that is a catapult can boot stuff so you can change a boot loader so you can flash it with only a canvas wire you no need to uh, go in any time need a uh, pressing the buttons and like uh, attaching the usb stuff so you can flash it via single python command so this is a catapult can boot system so you can compile it a boot loader for there so that boot loader help you to flash it firmware without pressing any button okay so this is the github website okay, okay. you need uh, that molex microfit connector so goes here you need to crimp it make it wire for you and is a octopus pro motherboard it has a canvas port so you can use a rj connector so you can use this cable like straight goes here and you can cut this and install here so crimp it install a can high low wire here or you can use this kind of a jack so that goes here so it's goes there and your power cable is there and you can like every time you, you if you need to change a cable just unplug it from here and here you can replace the cable without any issue so that is up to you how you want to set up this so okay you want to do it with the this jack all along cut it crimp it make a cable or use a jack just clip it unclip it change a wire on a both end here and it's up to you now you need to choose how you connect it how you wire it that is all up to you that is all everything is optional so 
now i'm going to a uh, software part i try to make the cable with this one so i'm try to crimp it but it's too small sorry thin when i try to crimp it sorry strip it so it's giving me some issues i'm not able to manage it so i waste a two three cables so it's but when like a burn it then uh, like i try to reveal it so it's soft it's strain something so this cable is i'm not able to use it so actually i'm my check my length it's also need a long cable so then i try with the this 1 mm cable but i'm not able to crimp here also so then i decide to go with this point point 0.75 cable i think it's like 18 gauge so i somehow i think i manage this to the crimp so i go with this so basically uh, this box needs like a 6 amp for total so it's like a this wire it's handle a like 7 7 amp 8 amps so i can use it this cable so let's try make a power cable with this one and need to find a something this alternative and um, i remove this rj11 connector and place a gst you just need a soldering iron on the pump like a heat up and suck a solder from there so it's helpful tool so you can easily remove the carefully remove this and this connectors this one so you can remove it easily so i place a gst connector there first i check the uh all the connections here so it should be like a no connection between anything else so when you remove it you place it diagonally uh, diagonal or maybe if you want to place it like this so you need to give a small jumper from here to here so for a safety purpose you you need to check this jumper is like a not belongs to any other pins so check with your uh, uh, with multimeter so no continuity no resistance no power from anything else so then you can add a jumper there so checking this i'm going to a github uh, victory touch page i check the uh, octopus pro schematics so here is a chat so i check it so two cables here two others like three so after that i go to the uh, there so they said on the pinet diagram so here is the pins numbers pd0 pd1 so uh, last two these these one is a ncs so i think i can use it without any issue so i check all the things i check first i check everything with the multimeter then i check there so for a safety purpose so i place it there then i uh, state these cables then i give a jumper from here to here okay so i place it there can low can high and then give a jumper to uh, mpt pin now i prepare this so i need to crimp it for a power cable and uh, that can cable it's now i need only a gst connector here this connect the gst so i can make a longer cable like uh, what's my according my printer needs so as long as cable i want to make it so it's possible now now i'm going to create a first the network profile here so maybe this command sudo and it is network interface can zero press enter it is ask for a password and your password right and you need to add here these lines auto can allow all this stuff this boundary the same boundary you are going to place every every in your config file 
the clipper file or can boot wherever. So you need this. So rem uh, remember this. So now you need to press Control X. If it's first time, then it's asked you for a Y and then press Enter. If no changes, it see at it see where it is. If you want to do everything up to date, so you need this command apt get update upgrade. So it update your all this stuff. It's complete. After this, you need a get. So if you have it, then no need it. Otherwise, you can get it's updated up period. Now, now I'm going to get up let can boot get up the poster, copy some files there, and paste into the your SSH and Press enter. It clone everything. Take some time and show you your catapult configuration. Verify can communication pin numbers. So PB0, PB1 for the EVB3, EVB36. Now to set up a can this here. So Microcontroller controller is a STM32 GB01 your processor, 8KB bootloader, 8 megahertz crystal, CAN versus PB0, PB1, yeah, application offset 8KB, yes, and uh, 1 million CAN bus speed. So, this is uh, the things you need to set up there. And press Q. Make sure everything is correct, then press Q and Y. Now start building the your bootloader. It's done. Processing is done. You need to go to a catapult out and your bootloader is there. Go to your catapult folder out and catapult dot it says uh, bin uh, bin file is this out catapult bin and legacy binary is out can boot. So both file is here, can boot and catapult bin, choose which one you want to choose it. So that is up to you, uh, both I think both, both file is same. So I am going to try this can boot first, download it and when it's download, save it, uh, rename it. File is here. So this is for EBB. So I type a name there first. Rename it and now go to the uh, compile for a uh, purpose. We are now uh, compiled for the Octopus Pro. Now we are in the catapult directory. We need to run a make menu config command. And press enter. Open this menu again. Select your same chip. So this time we are going to select a STM429. So same for a 32 KB bootloader, 8 megahertz crystal. Okay, USB, same offset, ID, and then make sure you need to select this bootloader for a development application, this will help uh, you to uh, put that command this motherboard into the DFE mode. Okay, then communication, we are connecting this motherboard by USB to the Pi. Uh, so application offset is 32KB. 
so this should be is same so after that everything is done so after that we need to press a q and y so yes. and then now we are make previous uh, clean the uh, previous build first i we are make clean and then make start making compile is done this gives the same information bin file catapult legacy binary scan boot so again refresh it same directory scan boot file catapult bin again same i try this one first download and save it into the computer and rename it to the uh, octopus file is there now i'm going to put a name for a octopus pro for this bootloader so we have a both bootloader now we are going to flashing the bootloaders next for flashing the bootloader we need a stm 32 cube programmer download this and after this we are going to uh, set up the hardware this setup is optional so is up to you like how you want to give it a power like if you want to give a power from a usb so you need to add a jumper here for a pa usb power and add a jumper here for a dfu mode so everything is up to you so i add a dfu jumper here and i gave a 24 volt power from main so no need to add a jumper here so be careful so if you are uh, giving a power from main no jumper needed here and after this just need to on and connect to the uh, computer after this connect a usb to computer after this go to the programmer and we uh, go to usb refresh it the motherboard shows there usb one in the fu mode then correct it's connected now go to the this option and full chip is click okay it's raising the full chip so it's give you a message raised okay after this go here and open a file where you save it after this select a exact file what is your uh, bootloader for your uh, motherboard so this is after first for why you name it this is for my motherboard so i open it after open it click on download so after a few seconds it will show you the file download complete press okay now done now click on disconnect so remove the usb cable after this i disconnect the usb from motherboard now ebb ebb shows you to where the uh, usb power if you want to connect the usb now you need to install a small jumper here for power from usb attach a usb there and we are going to hold this small boot button and press this reset button 
for put you into DFU, I release this button. So it's in a uh, DFU mode now. Again, software, USB, and it's there. So read it. Everything is there. We are going to the again same this option full chip arrays okay so full chip arrays is done now go back to this option open a file open a file again now this is my EVB36 scan boot bootloader select it open it now it's open there click on download download is complete okay now everything is done disconnect it now move boot boot flashing done just remove this usb and remove this jumper now we need to connect this two motherboard to the sorry this octopus motherboard to the pi via usb and this motherboard via canvas to the octopus pro now i'm going to remove this dfu jumper from here and uh, connect motherboard to pi via usb and connect the can port can this both board and connect a power there connect the uh, can cable and this usb cable to the pi so now we are adding to flash a clipper firmware so lights there on evv motherboard everything is there so looking good so now ready to the clipper now on ssh need to go into the cd clipper go into the cd clipper directory then need to get command make menu config and press enter wait so now select your uh, firmware check set everything like which one you want to flash it first so i'm going to talk first first now install low level stm32 f429 chip 32 kb boot loader 8 megahertz crystal communication this time you need a usb to canvas bridge on usb so our canvas is a pd0 and pd1 so this is the all the setup you need press q and y and now if you have a previous build then make clean and now make wait for its complete It's complete now. It's on the uh, clipper out clipper dot bin directory. 
now I'm going to flash the firmware I'm going back to a main directory then copy and paste this command ls dave serial directory so save your this serial id of your motherboard copy this you need it later for flashing the octopus motherboard now you need to go into the catapult script directory cd catapult slash script go into the directory now you need to run the one script pip3 space install space py serial it's only for a once now you need this command python3 flash clipper so this is your directory clipper out clipper dot bin by day by d by your uh, day serious sorry serial flash id we are getting from your motherboard so press enter it's a six flashing success save your serial id into the notepad maybe you need into the future so now I'm going to use this Python flash query which it shows a canvas. Okay, so first one is our octopus that I we have already flashed the clipper. So save this UUID. You need it. Save both if you want. Copy it, save into the notepad now flash uh, compile a clipper firmware for the evb board go to the main directory again cd and now cd to clipper and again make menu config press enter and jump into the config version page now you need to select again your same controller sorry same stm32 this time you need to choose a chip it's g0b1 8kb bootloader 8kb clock reference now we are need to communication with the uh, pb0 pb1 and bound with this one if you don't know what is the pin go to the edv manual so this uh, shows you a pin numbers so it's um, it should be correct pb0 pb1 now press q y and make clean so clean the previous build now make So it's done again. So it's in the clipper out directory. Now you need to go back to the main directory. And now you need to go into the CD catapult script directory. After that, need this command query again. So this time, uh, this is a, our UUID for a flashing. Copy this. Now you need this command Python flash again clipper out clipper dot bin with and and your UUID should be here for flashing the can EBB board. Press enter. And wait 
Blessing in success. Now I'm going to query again. Both mother goals are flashed. So show is application as a clipper in both mother goals. So flashing is done now. So make sure your uh, name it. What is your uh, uh, canvas ID? The UU ID is there. So first one is mine. One is uh, this one. So I noted down. So this one is for EVB. This one is for Octopus. Now you need to put this both into the printed.config files. Now I'm going to be create uh, GitHub uh, EVB 36 repository. So I copy the this EVB config files there. So make sure uh, you, what you have is like a version. You make sure copy that config file. So it's should be the same pins. Copy. Mm, for now, I make a new EVB36 config file and copy the data here. And I need to replace this uh, canvas UUID and uncomment or delete this one. I delete this one. And add uh, my canvas ID here. I'm going to save this. Now I add uh, include EVB36 CFG and my Octopus Pro motherboard uh, canvas UUID and save and restart. If you get this error, that means you everything defined two times. So it said already registered something. You you need to go to the uh, clipper for the printer.config file and uncomment your exist extruder. I uncomment my exist extruder settings for now. Save and restart. Again, if you get this error. You need to uncomment this restart method from here. Now, if you have this uh, this message, so you should attach your thermistor uh, sensors there. Now, I connect a bad thermistor to the board and studer thermistor to the this canvas board on this board. Now try firmware restart. After restart, your MCU and your EVB canvas shows here. That means you successfully flash the bootloader, clipper, and uh, your EVB stuff there. So now you need to configure. Uh, and mount it wherever you want to mount it on your printer and then everything is shows here <sighs> now please like share and subscribe and please must subscribe this is how you can modify your rg11 connector and your octopus pro motherboard and your ebb 36 canvas and you can set up this all of stuff can bus can boot catapult bootloader all this stuff is here so everything is hooked in detail so you can do it uh, easily please subscribe so i make uh, more content it helps more and thank you for watching the video